Let's learn about the weighted mean. All right, the weighted mean is just a slight variation on a mean. Um, and, and I think an example is probably the best way to, to understand this. Let's assume that we own a hamburger stand and we're trying to figure out what to charge for a hamburger. And we talk to three people whose opinions we trust. And the first one says they would pay $3 for a hamburger. The second one says $5.50 and the third says $6.75. Okay. Now we could calculate out the mean <clears throat> of these data, like the mean of price. And if we do that, we get that the answer, um, what is the answer to that? That would be three is five dollars and six cents. Okay, and that's just our typical mean. But what we suspect is that some people, some customers' opinions are worth more than others, and that's because they come to our restaurant more often. So we asked them also how often they would come eat at our hamburger stand. And the first one says five, the second one said they would come twice, and the third group said they would come three times. So now their opinions, the values of their opinions has changed a little bit. Up here we have the $3, but that's $3 times five, so now it's $15. And this person that said $5.50, they're gonna come twice, so now that's $11. And the person that said $6.75, they're gonna come three times, so that's now $20.25. All right, so there, this, the contribution of each person has changed because of their frequency. So the way the weighted mean works is we have here our mean, and I'm going to indicate with a subscript W that we're talking about weighted. We're going to sum up each individual price like we would have done normally, right? This is what the equation looks like normally, divided by N. But before we sum it up, we're going to add in that we're multiplying times our weights and then add it together. So that gives us kind of the math that we did before, right? Five times three dollars plus two times five fifty plus three times six seventy five. Okay. When we add all that up together, uh, we get forty six twenty five. But it's not in dollars anymore. It's in dollars times frequency, and we need our answer to be dollars when, we, when we're finished here. So what we need to do is instead of dividing by n, as we would normally have done, we're going to divide by the sum, sorry, we're going to divide by the sum of our frequencies. Because those are in the numerator, because we're multiplying here, but then we're dividing here, they balance each other out, and our answer will be in dollars again. So the 5 plus the 2 plus the 3 gives us 10, right? And we divide the 46.25 by 10, we get a weighted mean equal to $4.63. And that is absolutely in dollars um, because we have both in the numerator and in the denominator there, the, the sum of the weights in the numerator and the denominator. So the weighted mean of $4.63 takes into account that the frequencies of each customer change, right? Um, and so we're counting those who come more often to, have, to be, uh, have a more meaningful response. All right, let's look at how to calculate a weighted mean in R. So we're gonna use the data we were talking about before. I'm just gonna call this price, and that's going to be equal to $3, 550, and 675. So we've asked three people what they would be willing to pay for a hamburger, and then we've also asked them how frequently they eat out, right? The person who eats out more often than someone else, we're much more interested in their opinion because they're more likely to come to our restaurant more often. So the first person says he eats about five times a week, and the next person says about two, and the third person says about three times a week, okay? So finding the Weighted mean is actually not that tricky. We just sum up the products of the price and the frequency. And R makes this easy. If I just say price times frequency, it will multiply corresponding elements. So the first element, the three, will get multiplied by the five. The second element, the 550, will get multiplied by the two. And the third element, the 675, will get multiplied by the three. Very easy, and then I just sum that up. 
and then the denominator is just the sum of the weights. Okay, so it's telling us here, once we have run all that, that our optimum price here is $4.63, right? So the, the weighted mean, it is actually exactly the same as if I had um, created a data set where I had five threes, one, two, three, four, five, and two five fifties and three six seventy fives. Zoom out a little bit here. But here I have my five threes, one, two, three, four, five, and here I have my two five fifties, and here I have my three six seventy fives. Right? And if I just take the mean of that, I should get exactly the same answer, which I do, $4.63, right? But instead of repeating everything, I just multiply the, the price times the frequency and then divide by the sum and the frequency. Um, there is, of course, an easier way to do this. You could just use the command weighted mean. The first input is the variable that you're weighting and the second is the weights by which they're all going to be weighted. And if I zoom out and come back over here, you see once again with our weighted mean we've got the same answer, $4.63.